into later. So where am I at for my second week? Well, the movie that I am making is nearly complete. I've got a few more scenes I want to shoot, but they are totally unnecessary. Um, I've got to put together a couple of scenes into the film, and then in theory, end of the day tomorrow, it should be... Excuse me, uh, finished. So I will have roughly, I think, with everything in it, it should come to around 10 minutes. It's not a long film. Um, so that's that. I'm in the process of trying to write um, short, short plays. Um, roughly hitting the 10-15 minute mark. The logic is I'm struggling with a full-length play. And I think at this early stage, I cannot trust myself to create a full-length play. Because I will do it badly. It's probably better to slowly expand than overstretch myself and tell a story I can tell in say 10-15 pages in 30 to 40. Um, so yes I'm in the process of trying to pull together some ideas. I've got a few. Um, one of them is going to be recreating an old play. Um, one I had created for my autonomous performer, but I was unhappy with the final product. Unfortunately, due to my own cock up, I managed to corrupt all of the work I had done and had to reshoot it within a week. Um, so yeah. It's, it's not my favourite, but what I think I'm going to do in order to make sure that I do redo it is release the original, upload it to YouTube, put it on public, let people see it. Uh, it will be poorly received, I don't doubt that, because it's just... It's bad, man. But it means not only... Do I get to see where I have improved on it and what needs improved? It gives me the public feedback, which is probably a questionable thing to be asking the internet for, but hey-ho. Um, and it, it means that I can be honest with myself when I say I'm doing it because I have a reason to do it, because rather than hide it, it's there, people know it needs to be redone. <sighs> what else? Um, oh. I'm currently trying to create a rough 30 minute <clears throat> short version of Shakespeare's works using Much Ado About Nothing as my, excuse me, as my base piece, I, I'm going to write a shortened version of Much Do About Nothing um, to perform for children, which means removing some of the foul language, things like that. There's not a lot of it in, in Shakespeare, but there is a little bit. Um, but it shouldn't come up because I'm just going over the fundamental scenes. Um, yes, I'll also be including some of the monologues from the piece, which will hopefully get the kids used to the language of Shakespeare. The goal is to create a full hour experience, one of just a performance, and the other half hour taken up by a workshop. Uh, I may look at to making it an hour 
and a half long experience of a half hour show and maybe an hour long workshop. And that will likely give me, excuse me, give the kids and me something more to bite into. Um, oh, finally, I was accepted for a role with a local theatre company, uh, a new upstart group, uh, Vivid Roots Collective. <clears throat> we are performing a work in progress for a play referred to as The Owl and the Imp. Very excited for this um, because it's been so long since I've done a, a play written by another person. Correction, it's been so long since I've done a play. Um, but this will this will be fun. Um, I've started doing some research, um, looking into the characters, then looking into the characters, like imps in culture, owls in culture, uh, a few bits and pieces about spiders in culture, also in children's stories. A lot of these things, uh, because I feel they relate to the play in in many ways and will probably help inform my own performance um yeah i'm just really excited for that one i think that's it at this point i hope to be uploading my finished film end of this week start of next week and it will be about 10 minutes very hopeful very excited i'm gonna probably try and promote it as much as i can see what i can do with it and then if i have any more film ideas while i'm here i'll be filming those too <laughs>